Yeah, Hunter, this was the third meeting that the city has held on this particular issue. And like you said, so many people really care about this building that you see behind me here and what is going to go inside of it. Tonight was about talking about the different options that they actually have. On the corner of 28th and Logan sits a community cornerstone. It's a demolition by neglect. The old Logan Heights Library closed its doors back in 2009. And over the past 13 years, the 1920s era building has fallen into disrepair. The windows are all broken, the roof is leaking, it's been vandalized many times, so we just want to see it. We want it to be brought back to life. But with $2.4 million secured in state grants, the exterior will soon receive a facelift pending site inspections, permits, and reports, which means attention is now turning towards what will actually go inside. I want to emphasize that this is the first step in what will be a two-stage process. Um, the first to restore the building, and then the future step to uh, program and outfit it for its future use. The city of San Diego is collecting responses via a survey, with some of the options being a computer lab, youth center, or a cultural archive. These three would be as a, a single use, but um, the building could also be used as a combination of two of the activities. And locals have a variety of thoughts and ideas. I would like to see uh, a, a technology. I would like to see a center for seniors. It could be used for uh, an archive museum, a uh, meeting space. It could be used for um, uh, community gatherings. But one thing is clear. We have to have the big picture in mind. They want a new space filled with the legacy of Logan Heights. We'll be gone. The youth is here. Uh, what did we leave? What is our legacy as Logan Heights people? That is the question that many are asking. And if you want to weigh in on what should be put inside this old building here in Logan Heights, you can still do so. The survey is open until December 15th, so you got eight days or so. And once the city's been able to tabulate the findings and all the different votes, we should have a much better picture of what is actually going to wind up inside in the coming days. Hunter? All right, Matt, it's so good to see so many people involved in something like this. They just want to make sure it's being utilized in the way that it should. That's right. We will continue to track it. All right, Matt Pritchard live for us there in Logan Heights. Thanks, Matt.